Welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Michael Mshlanga and this is my wife. I am Tino, Tino Tenda Mshlanga. Ah, and we are the Mshlangas, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, it's so nice to meet you. Ah, it's, it's been quite long overdue, you know, we've been planning to have this video for quite a while, but you know, we've been, it's been hectic, but well, at least we are here now and we are going to, to have this video. Uh, we are a couple, uh, very young, just one year in, in our marriage. Uh, we were married um, last year. and uh, 2020. Yeah, 2020 in February. And we are just one year in our marriage. And we just thought, you know what, we've been receiving a lot of questions, a lot of uh, uh, questions from our friends and everything. So we just thought, you know, well, let's just make a video and uh, tell them what they want to, to know. So we are here for you. And we're going to, to tell you about our love story. <laughs> so stay tuned for the juicy stuff. Yeah. Oh, all right, guys. So we are going to start with the question, how did we meet? How did we meet? Uh, maybe my, my baby can tell you how we met. Uh, maybe you can tell them, baby. All right. Um, so this is what happened. I was um, I went to visit my aunt in Marindera. That's a city in Zimbabwe. So we, I was supposed to go there to help her serve uh, some pastors who were um, ministering in Marindera at a church conference. I think it was it was a week long. I think something like that. So I went on a Wednesday. And I was supposed to serve um, during that night and then go back home to Harare on Thursday. So when I got there, we cooked and then we... When was this, baby? That was... Uh, um, that was 2020, 2016 in mm -hmm. March. Yeah, 2016. March. Um, March. Yeah, we met on, on the 21st, was it? 21st or the 23rd, something like that. So, we um, we prepared the food for the pastors for that evening, supper, we prepared supper, and then we prepared to go for the ch night service uh, on that particular day. We were supposed to go to the church service and then come back and serve the pastors what we'd ha we had cooked. So, we, um, there was there was a pastor and his wife who were staying at my aunt's place and they were supposed to go back to their hometown on that particular day but then my my aunt was like ah no they shouldn't go because it's too late so they were like ah we we're supposed to pick up uh, our brother who's coming from harare we we're supposed to go with him uh, to our hometown that's where we stay so she was like no he can sleep over and then you guys can just go in the morning early morning because it's too late for you guys to travel so we went to pick up this brother of theirs. <laughs> <laughs> this brother. <laughs> so tell them where you were coming from. Oh, all right, okay. Mm -hmm. So, guys, this is this is a very funny story. You see, uh, I met this girl whilst I was sitting in the boot of a car. Can you imagine? <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy, guys. Um, you see, I was supposed to. Um, to go to Marondera and help my my big brother to to preach uh, during a conference uh, that uh, he had been invited to go and preach and he was a pastor. Uh, he's late now of blessed memory. May he so rest in peace. Um, so his name was Pastor Pastor Mkaronda, and uh, he said, "You know what, my my young brother, I think you can come to Marondera and help me." Uh, minister and I took a bus I went to Marundera and I was waiting for these guys at the, at the station you see so when they came to pick me up they came with a small car you see now when they came you know the her aunt was trying to be very nice and she was saying ah you know what you can come and sit in front and uh, my little niece can go in the back and I was like, ah, no, 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 it's all right, because I just went there, 
uh, at, at the at the front of the car, and I saw her, and I was like, "Oh no, no, it's all right. I'm going to 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 be comfortable here at the back." And I was at the boot of the car, and <laughs> we were going, we were going to to where they were supposed to host us. Uh, so that's how that's that's when I first met her, but. I didn't really like really see her. I didn't really like talk to her or anything. It was just that first encounter, all right. Uh, and then when we got home, um, we prepared for the service and went for the service. And after the service, they were now supposed to bring us food to eat, some refreshments and everything. That's when her, uh, her aunt, you know, she, she 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 sent her to to give me some food. And when she, she, she was coming to, to serve me some food, she passed in front of me. I was like, mm. <laughs> Mama Mia, <laughs> where is this one coming from? You know, because uh, uh, earlier, earlier before we had arrived at the house, after the service, uh, I was with her in the car. I was talking to her and just asking some general questions, you know. How are you? This and that. And you know, when you are sort of like posing as a man of God, you know, you know, when someone is looking at you as a man of God, <laughs> you don't want to just talk to someone and you're like, oh, you are beautiful, this and that. <laughs> oh, man. You know, people, you, you, you don't know, people may think that maybe your character is loose or something like that. So it was actually then when she was serving me some food, I was like, man. This chick is fine. <laughs> and then I didn't tell her anything. I didn't tell her anything because we were supposed to leave the next day. And maybe you can tell them what happened uh, the next day in the morning. Yeah, so, yeah, that night when we met, we had a very interesting conversation. I could not even, I didn't see it. What he's saying that he liked me the first time he saw I didn't see it, but though I, I thought really? he was really a really cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I was like, this guy is really cool. And maybe I kind of noticed the way he looked at me and the conversation that we had was a little bit deep and very nice. I enjoyed it. Then the next morning before they left for mm -hmm. Chipinge, um, he was like... Um, so let me let me let me have your number because we had a conversation again that morning. Um, he was like, "Let me let me take your number. I'll talk to you sometime." Yeah, and I was like, I'm, "I want to take your number because I want to to notify you and your aunt that, that we've arrived right. well." You know, <laughs> so there was you, so, so there was no way you were not going to give me the number. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 he knew what he was doing. He, he knew. I knew my game. <laughs> so. Um, usually I don't give people my number randomly. I just, I just, I try by all means to either give you the wrong number or just tell you that I can't give you my number. But this time, oh, I just had to give him. I don't know how it happened, but I gave him. So we were in, in touch ever since that, um, day. That was on the 23rd, that was the 24th of March. Yes, so we met on, we on the 23rd, 23rd of March. Mm -hmm. Uh, on a Wednesday, mm -hmm. on and then four. fast forward <laughs> a month later. Yeah, exactly. She, 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 she said yes to me. Can you imagine? <laughs> no, no, she... no, no. But before that, <laughs> <laughs> we met. I think uh, twice for two dates. The second date, that's when he was like, you know, I really like you. He asked me out, but because I wasn't, I don't know what was wrong with me, really. <laughs> I knew I liked him a lot, a lot. I was And I could everybody. see it, and I could see that, oh man, this chick, she's already but, into me. But I was like, you know what? I'm I think, into you. <laughs> I think you need to wait for like three years or something like that. I, 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 don't know, I, I don't know what happened with ladies. Like, they, even if they are so into you, man, they're like, oh, so we need to check what time, blah, blah, blah. And you're it's like, necessary. man, we need to do this thing and get on to the next thing, bro. <laughs> Oh, all right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. So we were getting along, and then yeah, on the twenty third of April, that was exactly a month after we met. That's when we started dating. That is when everything started. That was uh, the beginning of something very, very new in our lives, both. 
Excellent. Very true. You can say that again. And I don't. I, we're going to cut that off. <laughs> I don't. I don't regret uh, meeting you that day. Do you? No, I don't. Uh, Not okay. even a single day. Really? Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Every other day ever since that day has mm -hmm. been like a like a dream. Oh, and wonderful. Amazing. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. So I think I think guys, we've done justice to the first question that you asked. How did we meet? I think we've given you the the juicy stuff. So uh, for the for the next question, I think uh, we're going to do another video for that. Uh, goodbye. Love you guys. And please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay. And like our video. Please. All right. Goodbye. <laughs>